Welcome everyone to this Unranked to Diamonds series, showing you exactly how to play Aphelios, the easiest way to play him, the cons most consistent way to climb with him, and the most important aspect, I think, is the item build, because Gale Force, I'm not a fan, especially not when you're a new Aphelios player, or in general, in on AD carry, just having that extra damage from Kraken Slayer is so valuable. Ah, I missed that minion. So yeah, we got Kraken Slayer Bloodthirst, so we stay as safe as possible. If he gives us free damage, we take it. Ah, wanna reach level 2 here. Nice. Yeah, Aphelios is quite weak level 1, because you have no spells, right? But as soon as you hit level 2, you have access to multiple Q spells, up to 4 Q spells in a row if you want to, if you manage your ammunition. Ah, she jumped out immediately, as expected. So, he's quite the menace. Level 2 to 5, probably the strongest AD carry in bot lane. He is vulnerable, though, because low HP, but we do have cutdown to kind of weaponize that, you know? Try and get some free damage on her. Keep doing our thing. What is this guy doing? <laughs> Yeah, we're just all in with our spells. It's really brain dead. Many people are afraid to play Aphelios because it looks so complicated. But just press Q, change weapons, and press Q again. And just keep auto-attacking. He's auto-attacks for the most part. That's what playing Aphelios is. I wasn't... He flashed away from me, so I couldn't heal him. Which is a real shame. Yeah, buddy, you better. <laughs> I baited them with my heal. Maybe they thought it was on cooldown to try and save the Bard, but there's no point healing earlier, because again, Bard flashed out of my range. I tried to flash after him, but I made that call too late, so he ultimately died, which is kind of sad. But it is what it is. It happens. Anyway, Aphelios, even without mana, just with my guns, due to the extra effects, I was able to do so much. And also, people like to max lethality second. I don't really like that. I like getting my attack speed for maximum Kraken Slater value later on. And you should do the same, in my opinion. <laughs> Is this under tower? It might not be quite. I have no mana to do this. So, I guess we just bail. <laughs> Don't. It's not worth. Okay, I recall, get my health, my mana back, and get some items. Also, because of these early fights, I like Doran's Blade on this champion. I think going for Longsword, or like some pros are doing it, sometimes even Cull, I think it's too greedy for solo queue. Doran's Blade it is. Of course, slight anti-synergy with Cutdown, but Cutdown is a late game rune anyway. <laughs> Oh, Thresh, what are you doing? He should have kept running. He stood still to... I mean, it's okay, I guess. He stood still to cast his Q, but that gave Tristana extra auto-attack, so that's never worth it. What are they doing? <laughs> Alright, I just push this. Moving close so I can attack faster with Chakram. Because it's not dependent on attack speed, but when the thing returns. Like summon Eerie cooldown works, essentially. Get more attack speed. Tristana has decent items, actually. But you can't fight me in that wave. Getting Dragon here. Just do some damage, there's no reason not to. We should be fine, or are we? Please smite it. I 
can't I, I can't get this. I don't have the AoE. Yeah, I needed to focus down one target and hope for the best. Tristana kind of got me there. Maybe I had a joint earlier. Oh well, it is what it is. I kind of like getting early Berserker Screeps in this champion, though. Because Ophelias is inherently immobile, which is why people like Gale Force on him. But if you just kill people when they try to approach, especially once you get Bloodthirst, I go for Crack and BT, by the way. Crack and BT, Infinity Edge. Just stack up on attack damage to your spells hurt as much as possible. And get attack speed from Kraken Slayer and from your W Max second. That's what I like to do. I don't really like paying attention too much to weapon combos. Of course, red white is nice. But it's not like mandatory to fight, you know. You can try and play around it, but um, in reality, it's better to. Or it's more practical to just combo with whatever you got. Because you cannot influence exactly when fights will happen anyway. So you have to be able to fight with any weapon combination. Took a tower shot accidentally, so I'll just stay in... ...in this form to regenerate. Oh god. That still kills me. Yeah, okay, I got un uh, I got a little bit too confident there. I didn't respect the bar tunnel when I obviously should have. Ah, unlucky. Tristana's getting quite fed actually. That's not a good sign. Nothing we couldn't handle though. We outscale her. We also have more farm, so that kind of offsets the CS difference. Also should have altered there. I'm, I was a little bit, I was a little bit too, I don't know, too surprised with the Bard gank. Should have pressed more buttons. Ult with um, Severum might even have saved me. It definitely would have saved me. I barely died. They just run away, there's no point chasing and losing farm for them. Just push this in, Tristana cannot really farm under tower. So even if she stays, she won't get much. Ah, it still aggros me. One for one. Still the same situation with the Bard gank. But this time Hecarim was behind them. I thought I could beat them if they tried again, but I didn't take Hecarim into account. Anyway, I'm playing a late game champion, so trading kill for death is in my favor. Tristana is decent late game, but she falls off so hard in the mid game. Which is a golden opportunity to then punish her. She'll likely return with a full Kraken Slayer. So we gotta be careful now. But this wave's beautiful, it's coming right towards us. Yeah, we just need to let it slow push. And Tristana will lose a lot of farm for it. Enemy is unstoppable. unstoppable. Ooh, mid lane and bot lane, both looking kinda grim. Let the wave come. There's no reason not to. Yeah, the Kraken Slayer is kind of nasty. I misplayed. I thought I could trade with her, but I completely mis misplayed. Yeah, I even said it. Kraken Slayer is going to be so nasty. I just give that to her, man. I hope 
Zinjao gets this. She might have jumped again. She doesn't have mana, though. Okay. That's nice. It's a big shutdown for him. She was worth 900. Like, unironically. <laughs> so fed. Oh, well. We'll get there. We'll get there. Ophelia is super good late game. What are you pinging me for? I'm definitely taking this wave. There's no way I don't. Ah, he had ults. Thought I had him. Give him a sniper turrets. Chakram plus a sniper is a super good combo, by the way. Didn't hit. Man, missed my final Q. This could have been a kill. Ah, it happens. I'm low on mana, I need to be careful. She lives. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I had no mana. That was a problem here. Elsa could have killed her. Super unfortunate situations over and over again. Huh. Oh well. We'll get there eventually. Now I have a huge pause back with Kraken Slayer. But Tristana being on 8 kills is of course worrisome. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, the problem was I didn't have mana to press Q, so I didn't have mana to... I should have switched to um, Gravitum for one auto attack, then Q, then switch back to Lifesteal. I think that was the way. I want to save some of my um, lifesteal cues. I want to deplete now for Chakram. Gravitum is also very nice in fights, but I want the damage combo now. I wanted to press R, but he stunned me just in time. Hard committing. I'm not sure if I like it. By that I mean it's quite bad. Got a siege mid lane. Bro, why are you still mid lane? You need to go vault lane, my friend. I'll siege this. Yeah, getting mid lane tower is very good for our team. Oh, they're dying, aren't they? Well, they're under tower. Maybe they got this. Yeah, they actually get it. Nice. Alright, so far so good. I'll push this. And we'll just roam. 
I won't stay top lane by myself. I need to fight with the team. I'm so strong right now. Aphelios Kraken Slayer with lethal tempo is really crazy. Especially with the attack speed max second. Yo, it's Irelia's going wild, huh? Ah. I should have just paid attention to the cannon minion. It happens. I can base for BF sword. Huge damage. Oh no, Thresh got caught and he's down. Tristana on two and a half items, she's actually giga fed. My lord. Oh, that was stupid. I just fed a ward to him. Yeah, we get dragon for this, definitely. They're all topside. Just take it, there's nothing they can do. Or is there? Red, white, let's fight. <laughs> Don't have much red left though, so it's about to expire. However, sniper turrets also quite strong, as you know. All right, but just sniper by itself is very, very good for fighting with this build because you auto attack like a Caitlyn. We base, we get Vamp Scepter if we base. That's nasty. Those Bard ultis. Yeah, we stay until we reach full Bloodthirster, I'd say. No reason to base before that. I have a nice engage combo with my R plus Q with Gravitum. No Bard ulti to worry about right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh god, I'm burning so hard. That rumble ult really hurt. Anyway, now that I base, with Blood Tester you can just auto attack at nauseam. You'll heal so much. And poke damage doesn't even matter anymore. Alright. Let's get it. Next item, Infinity Edge, of course. And in this game we don't need healing reduction, so I think Lord Dorms is best. Also because Giant Slayer is so huge on this champion. Cut backwards, take the wave. Alright. As long as we are with Aurelia, nothing bad can happen, really. 
If they full engage on her, I back her up and vice versa. Hecarim is here. Bard can ult me if I'm not careful. Do not run through this ults. Okay, he's dead. He just inted. He completely inted, my lord. I take it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we keep pushing. If they end, we just take objectives. Keep attacking. Yeah. You're so safe. Just auto attacking. <laughs> it's so simple. Playing Aphelios can be very easy. It's literally just positioning macro and right clicking. Let's see how much we can get here. Huh. Yeah. I overstepped a little bit, so I had to ult. Let's fight. Red, white, let's fight. Come on. <laughs> we can just take dragon, alternatively. It would be the way safer play. I have enough money for BF Sword. So if you want to play around red-white as much as possible, it's best to just sit on one of these weapons and then cycle through the others. Oh, Aurelia. She might be trying to do something here. Didn't get this done. I really want to base, but I also don't want to ditch my team. Uh, again, I haven't based, but they're busy and we can- yeah, we can take Baron. It's fine. Alright, let's do it. We take it super quickly as well. With the red-white combo especially. Look at this. Ah, instantly fighting is such a blunder. Just let us base. I can't ditch my team though. Nay needs help. Should have altered with the other weapon. But just showing presence already scares them away, which is the main goal here. I'm not going for this. The team just overstayed for no reason. I'm basing. Swap this weapon out because it's about to expire anyway. I really like Gravitum Cannon or Gravity Cannon or Gravitum, whatever it's called. For team fights too, because he gets very high engage potential all of a sudden. Bros, we have Baron buff. What are you doing in their jungle? Looking for a random highlight place, huh? I mean, as long as it works, it's fine, but it's just such an unsafe way to play this. All right. Also, a neat thing to do is you can use your sniper to stack um, your keystone from far away, and then once you have it fully stacked, you have the extra range and all the weapons. Oh, 
Oh, there's a tower. All right, good to know. Just auto attack her. Yeah. All right, that's game number. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go for the next one. After we kill this one. There we go. Yeah. Let's go next. Alright, Athelios unranked to diamond. Showing you exactly how it's done. And hopefully getting a good game here. We are still unranked on this account. Uh, but this should change after this game. Anyway, we're playing against Caitlyn Leona. So as you know, Athelios level 1 is quite weak. I'll explain everything. I'll explain the build. I'll explain the strategy. That's the goal of the series, just letting you know. And if you want to follow, subscribe to YouTube, follow on Twitch. Oh god, cannot click the minion because of Leona's massive hurt box. Cancelling a billion autos as well. Alright, we're at level 2 first, which is quite nice. Yeah, we can keep going a little bit. Caitlyn took a lot of damage there. A few less level 2 to level 5 is giga strong. Probably strongest in all of bot lane. Like, not even close. You get so many abilities. Now they're level 2 as well. Caitlyn is low, so Leona is not really incentivized to attack here. But uh, we're just gonna do our thing. We wanna farm. We are hyperscaling late game with the Kraken Slayer build. No point healing here because she's just dead. Doesn't really do much. Yeah, nasty gank and my support didn't see it coming at all. Well, she I mean, I didn't see it coming necessarily too, but I was in a position where I can always react if anything goes wrong, and she wasn't. She was just completely overextended. So we'll just chill, let them push. The wave will come. I don't know why they're hard pushing. They could just deny me so much farm by not touching the wave. But I will take I will gladly take this gift. Actually, I'm a farm with Gravitum. I want to sit on red for a while. It's very nice in early fights. Alright, they're back right now. I could also just do this to... Uh, it's... I'm not sure if it's pushing faster. It's more like placebo, isn't it? But we get this wave in. Is there a point basing here? I couldn't buy much, so I don't think so. We'll just stay. Take down this wave. Early pushing is, of course, a little bit of a... of a... well, problem. Because <laughs> we got no wave clear spells, at least not consistent. And limited attack speed. We didn't even get it. Should I swap to Scythe so I don't have to take the travel time into account? Huh. Alright, the wave's under tower. I could just base, actually. For double longsword. I don't mind. Don't really feel like buying boots here, because the uh, because I still have flash, so I could rather spend my gold on combat stats, right? Yeah, this is what I like. Sure, uh, let's deplete this weapon, actually. Now we got the wave clear with the... Um, uh, flamethrower and very nice combo purple blue because we AOE um, root people in potential skirmishes. Caitlyn is double longsword too so good for me to um, match that. Oh please. Okay I should get most of these. I'll just attack with gravity cannons so I don't randomly AOE the other minions. Get some attack speed here. Huh, all right, we we slow push actually their base. Not sure what they're buying, but um, they have a side gold advantage because of Kazakh's gank. Got them extra farm, got them extra CS. Well, that's the same thing. Got them extra farm, got them extra KP. But yeah, talking about the build, Kraken Slayer, Bloodthirster, and then Infinity are just a lot of attack damage, which you desperately want, and you get your attack speed from your rank up which is very nice. So you then just auto-attack with lethal tempo and do your thing. 
It's very straightforward. Super simple playstyle. Aphelios can be so simple if you don't lose yourself in random shenanigans, if you just play an auto-attack based champion. Alright. Guess that's worth my flash. It took a lot of damage though. I need to bail, it's too risky for me. If Kha'Zix is here, I'm instantly dead, so I uh, don't wanna... Don't wanna find out if he's here. I'd much rather base and get my... Noon Quiver. Actually... There's an argument for getting boots now. <sighs> Noon Quiver is so good. Don't wanna miss out. But yeah, Aphelios fighting is so easy. You just right-click. Duh. And then you press Q, well, meanwhile you press Q in between auto attacks and swap weapons, press Q again. And then if you deplete a weapon, you press Q again, and there you are. Press ultimate if you need to. There's much less strategy to this champion than people want to realize or want to believe. They want to think of it as like the champion with a billion different abilities. No, it's super simple. In my opinion, a champion that anyone can pick up. Last hit these. Alright. Uh, green white, also a very good combo with a sniper turrets. You can make any of the combos work, but this is one of the more traditional ones, you know. And now with Noom Quiver, we also don't have any problems pushing anymore because of the, well, the bonus damage to minions plus the attack damage plus the attack speed. It's super, super easy to now get all the minions. All right, Leona is standing there. We'll just take free damage. Yeah, contesting this would be kind of foolish. It's too risky. We don't know where Kha'Zix is. We have priority though. I'll keep the wave pushed. So we take Dragon for free. I almost died. Had Leona pressed R? Wait, she's level 5. Okay, never mind. But this was still quite risky. I was positioning too aggressively, considering I don't have flash and don't have boots and don't have allies nearby. Yeah, I should have been way more defensive. That was a blunder, actually. Okay, now with Karma, I can play normally again. I would really like to fight with Red White here. That's, I mean, that's a combo you definitely should be aware of. Red, white, let's fight. It's super strong. Okay, we just take our farm. We have ulti if we need to. For some extra healing and a potential all in. But Karma is wandering off, yeah, for the ward. That's fine. Misplayed. I should have ulted with um, red for the extra health. I was greedy for the chakrams. That cost me my life. Ah. Okay, yeah. Um, slight mistake. Happens. Happens. The good old greed. Greeding for damage when all you need is health. Yeah, I mean, it happens. Shouldn't beat yourself up over it. We still win this fight overall. Ooh, karma. Hard pushing the wave. It's okay. As long as the minions are clean under tower, she, you lose a plating, man. You lose a plating. Please go there. Okay. Now I should retreat. All right. But yeah, I definitely wanted to I wanted that fight because of my red white combo, but I misplayed it slightly. The health would have been so nice from red ultimates. <clears throat> 
Anyway, now I need to be careful because, again, I'm 1v2 and this Leona has stupidly fast boots. It doesn't matter, the wave's coming, I don't lose much. Do I lose anything even? Okay. They hard committed there. They kind of even got value out of it, didn't they? Caitlyn ulti, Loki dangerous. Lucky I have Karma here. Let's see what we can do. Alright, Giga Worth. Saw the crowd control combo. I first rooted them with Q, so my ult hits guaranteed because it's kinda easy to dodge. And then the ult with a 99% slow just kept them in place forever. But for the most part, all I did was auto attack, so. Even if you don't see these combos, you'll still be immensely useful if you just A uh, AA against them. I took a headshot for free. Man. Don't have lifesteal right now. Ah, oh, Karma, you're so low. If she ults, I need to block it for her, actually, I think. Oh no, she should shield herself. <sighs> okay, we're kind of stuck in the tower now. We need Kindred's help. Or we need to just lose a bunch of minions. Okay, Kindred is here. Perfect bait. What was that? Oh, I low-key wish she would have gotten hit so I could have counter-engaged. Yeah, exactly. A little too aggressive, considering we knew Kha'Zix was there. I said in range to auto-attack as much as possible, but I can't do much more. Pushing this should be safe enough. Alright, let's back off. Buy some items. We're out-farming Caitlyn, or no, not out-farming, but we caught up and farm a little bit. Now this is a huge power spike. Crack and Slayer plus boots. We stack lethal tempo so fast now. The wave's coming towards us because we pushed it in first. Yeah, everything fine. And we scale much harder than Caitlyn does. Aphelios in the late game is just crazy. Oh no. Please come back, Kindred, no. Alright. Alright. But yeah, the, the main thing is you're may, uh, way tankier than you might think because of overheal plus Severum shield plus Bloodduster shield. So you're low base HP. You have all the upsides of cutdown essentially and none of the. or little of the downsides of being squishy because you actually aren't due to the shields. Get this in. We get Dragon. I could try and Q Caitlyn, but what does it do really? Much rather just push the wave. Maybe fire one Q here. Well, I still have it. All right, <laughs> could have worked. Damage on the tower. Man, this Cassiopeia is popping off. Alright, red white, let's fight. We 
push this wave and then I think we just roam. Hmm. If they get a shutdown on Cassiopeia too, then they're actually back in the game. Not even kidding. Alright. <laughs> Good catch. He panicked. I'll take it though. Mid lane pushed, bot lane pushed. We rotate top lane here and see what's up. Maybe we can wreak some more havoc. Ah, escaped. Alright, I'll just push in the tower. Get the wave in so we maybe prepare a dive. Let's we'll see if that works. I lose my red-white combo for now. Oh, okay, I got it with Herald. I didn't even realize they put down Herald here. There we go. Take as much as we can. Herald's still going. He should die here. Okay, flashes away. We got so much out of this. Alright, plus an extra wave. I'm so rich. <laughs> Should probably not overstay here. Yeah, Karma's ping is 100% correct. We base. Back off, get some items. Of course the game's rather easy to play if your solo lanes are doing that well. But I'll gladly take it. I don't want this journey, unranked to diamond, to take forever. I want to get there eventually, so I'm, I'm taking a free game every now and then. <laughs> So, Drake in 130. Yeah. Meanwhile, we keep doing our thing, push past River Rome, you know. And now with uh, Bam Scepter, we have Overheal unlocked independently of our Severum, pretty much. Once we bloodthirster, we're we can go really crazy in fights. We can just go ham. All right, Drake and fifty. Um, there's no reason not to push bot lane past river, so this is a free advantage for our team. Sieging here is just risk without reward, really. Drake in 30. Let's ping it so the team knows. Use our flamethrower to insta kill the wave. I'd like my team to just retreat and take this dragon. <laughs> I'm playing so aggressively. I mean, as long as they're doing that, might as well pressure this tower here. So we get at least some value out of their lunacy. Yeah, free tower. Alright, take dragon. Again, if no one responds, I mean, it's inherently risky to just take towers by yourself, uh, by yourself as an AD carry, but if you see them on the map everywhere and no one is taking notice, then you might as well. I hope this is safe enough. Yeah, okay. Kha'Zix doesn't dare. We can push one more wave and then get a Bloodthirster. Easy. Yeah, a base here. By the time we get there, the tower is dead anyway. So this is a perfect opportunity to now get the item without losing much. Alright, super strong right now. 
and it's only getting better from here. With this rune page especially and this item build, your damage just ramps and ramps and ramps, doesn't stop. And this is also why I think that Aphelios is quite good in, even in low elo. Oh, come on, Kindred. Because you have a strong level 2 to 5, which means you can brawl in lane if your enemy is just perma all inning. But you also scale like a monster, and low elo games tend to go longer than high elo games. And with this, you have guaranteed late game. I'll take red buff. Caitlyn's farming quite well, though. Alright, get this. Now push mid lane past river. And move towards the team. Oh, come on. Try to help. Maybe you can still win this. Yes, we can. All right. I still have red white now, so if anyone comes, I just insta pop them. Yeah, Kha'Zix, you don't want this. Probably didn't even need to heal, but I wasn't sure, because Kha'Zix's isolation damage, didn't want to risk it. Team gets Baron in the meantime. Do I have IE? I don't. I have BF Sword though, which is also quite nice. Well, I could also keep farming and get IE. And I missed the cannon minion, of course. Because I was impatient. Alright, I do have IE now, though. Can I afford to base? I don't think so. Walked into a trap. Doesn't matter. Yeah, the team wants to keep fighting, so it's better to be with them than to not be with them, of course. Alright. Might even finish here. Or do we? We don't have a wave. Or oh, we do have a wave, actually. Not the biggest one, but it's there. I'll just attack the tower, see what happens. Nothing. Alright. Then I keep doing this. Again, we're so safe because of our HP. Well, effective HP with shields, you know. Just right click, there's no reason to do anything else. GG. Alright, Aphelios in unranked to diamond. Again, don't forget to follow on Twitch and to subscribe to YouTube so you stay up to date on the journey. With Emilio in lane, actually quite nice. And the minions focus this one down, you get punished for leashing. Uh, we're playing against. Oh, I, I mistimed. 
Anyway, we're playing against Zeri Bard. And I switched up the runes. I I mean, the build's exactly the same. I just shifted a little bit more power towards the early game, away from the late game. We still got a god like late game, but we just make our early game a little bit stronger. Slight lag spike there. Yeah, we have Pressy Attack and Legend Alacrity. But the playstyle is exactly the same. It's personal preference, I would say. At least that's how I treat it. Alright, get some damage off. Now level 2, we of course have a big power spike as Ophelios. And again, we're just playing for pressure in the bot lane so we can reach our late game. Because late game means we win. <laughs> for sure. Let's get one more Q off with the Sniper, if we can. Oh, okay. He saw it coming. We could preserve the red cannon to wait for our red-white combo, but I also wouldn't mind just regenerating a little bit of health in lane here. Get these, work this. Yeah, just play it safe. Melee also a hyperscaling late game champion, so we're under no pressure at all. Big damage. Nice, huge. The flash grabbed him Q for the root to enable the play. I like it. <laughs> Aphelios. I mean, depending on which weapons you currently have, you have different options, right? So just knowing by heart what the individual weapons do goes a long way because, well, um, <laughs> so you have all the all the plays at the ready. You know, you know when to press R because you have flamethrower in a team fight, or you know when to press Q because I don't know. Well, it's it's really simple. You don't know. You don't need to know too too much actually. It's quite intuitive. And you just press Q multiple times in fights and you're good to go. Zeri is back. Didn't buy much. Um, we were left with the choice of either screwing up our wave and basing, or not basing and not screwing up our wave, and I chose the latter, which means we're a little bit weaker right now. We should be fine overall. It's not like a big item disadvantage. Keep fighting. Ah. Zeri gets it, unfortunately. And again, it's all you do. You just auto, press Q, swap weapons, press Q. That's literally all that's to it to Aphelios. Just harass them with flamethrower from behind minions. Alright, now we're at half mana, so I better save some for fights. But we got so much pressure on them, look at this. And we can even attack tower back off. Okay, let's truly back off, actually. Alright, she flashed? Why? What a blunder. I mean, I blundered too, but she blundered harder. That flash? Okay, that sets her behind quite a bit. The next five minutes in lane gonna be hell for her. Uh, we... We wanna wait for Noon Quiver, kind of. I wouldn't mind getting boots here because I have no flash, but... Noon Quiver is just so strong, can't say no to that, really. She flashed, didn't even get the kill, that's the worst pass. Maybe she's a little bit on tilt. But yeah, we went too aggressive, we didn't respect the jungle gank. I'll get my weapons recycled soon. But I found this with this one, so we don't accidentally ruin our own minions. Alright, now we hard push because Zeri is base. Perfect. 
get it under tower quickly so she loses CS for not being in lane. Nah, no, I got played. Not to say I played myself by not predicting his movement. But yeah, we still follow the same plan. We just now push a little bit better with our items, but our general game plan doesn't change. We're not looking for more fights. We, If anything, we need to play more safe because we have no flash. And Okay, I mean, we see the jungler top side. So maybe we try to start something here. I knew she was looking at the kind of minions, so I took that opportunity. Get some damage off. She has boots upgrades, so she's potentially dangerous if she wants to run me down. Need to be careful. 1v2 right now. My team's at Dragon, so if they engage on me, that would be very bad for me. Sit very far back with my sniper rifle. Okay, we got the red-white combo, actually. Oh no. <laughs> Why did I do this? I deleted the minion for no reason. Okay. Get back to business. Uh, gotta be a little bit careful. Yeah, these boots differences, they have all the agency in the world if the jungler comes. They can just run towards us and then force us to fight, essentially. And despite them not having combat stats, with numbers disadvantage is kind of rough. There's no way we can fight Zeri right now. She just runs away. Or even worse, Bart tunnels somebody towards us. I will not ruin this one. There we go. Red-white combo. Ah, one auto, she would die. I got exhausted. Man, I got so greedy. I wanted that kill way too badly when I had no chance to. Because I got outkited due to boots difference. That was all on me. I turned this so nicely with the uh, red ultimate spots. I threw it away instantly. Man. I'm too greedy considering we were at a 2v3 situation and I want to play for the late game with Melio. <sighs> oh well, it happens. It happens. Just need to stay calm and collected and do your thing. Yo, Zeri, you're greedy. I'm just pushing to provoke Zeri into staying, potentially. Yeah, she's kind of forced to stay now, which is super good for me because she's so low. Alright. Let's keep her busy. Bard is here, so I don't want to get 3v1 again. Okay, Lilia's dead, actually. But even the 2v1 would be quite bad for me. Right, maybe now she bases. I for sure just push. Getting the wave under tower so she misses as much farm as possible. Bard mid lane. Two platings, it's crazy. And we get the sniper rifle right as they return. So we can siege.
Uh, is it worth pressing Q here? I don't think so. Didn't land. Man, I would have been impressed the attack trigger. Would have been crazy good. We're actually up in CS despite the score. And CS wins games, especially in lower elo. The person who farms more is just way more likely to be impactful later on. I always think there's like a Victor ulti <laughs> and run away from it. I can't be the only one, right? Ah. Had I rooted him before, then I could have killed him with ults, but not this way. Wanna save my gravity cannon for an ult play? Alright. Team gets in position, potentially. 113 CS each. Nice. Huge. Especially my red ulti was important, so I stay alive. Clear the wave with my chakrams. Need to push this in for my team. Enable the play here. Yeah, take the tower. First tower as well. Need to save some mana now. Yo, 2,700 gold. <laughs> it's crazy. to flash this, else I die. Well, we got the dragon and the tower and everything, so we can't really be mad about that. Also, mid lane, top lane, jungle, just going wild here. I'm <laughs> definitely the weakest player in the, on the team right now, am I not? Oh well, we have Kraken Slayer now. I mean, in terms of score, in terms of items, I'm giga fed. I have farm, I got first tower gold. We're doing very well. Uh, Echo went mid lane despite bot lane tower being gone. That's fine. I just return bot lane and take my farm. Well, most of it at least. There we go. Still up in CS. And they need to be careful because they have no tower left, so they're quite vulnerable. And we just employ the age-old strategy. Push past River Roam. The ball's in their field right now. Minions wandering towards their tier 2 tower, so we use that time to roam. Pressure mid lane. Ah, oh, I changed weapons. I didn't realize my one my other thing depleted. We still get enough pressure to get this, but had I gotten a gravity ult, 
We might have killed her, potentially. Depending on how Echo plays it, but um, that's fine too. I don't rely on my old cooldown. I'm a Phileos after all, I just auto attack. dead. And that should be Herald for us. Yep. I fully agree. Also take this, because why not? We got red-white. Let's fight. Make sure not to lose too much farm unnecessarily. A good base for BF Sword, but at the same time... Yeah, we maybe base for BF Sword, if Melio base is too. Melio also about to hit a big power spike with um, Mythic. Yep, there we go. Again, Melio, late game champion, but all he really needs is his Mythic. Then he starts taking over because it triggers the... Especially the... The, what is it, motivate, empowering or protecting another ally champion against both allies, 25% movement speed for 1.5 seconds. It's so crazy on this champion. You go nuts when you have this item. Alright. Yeah, we cannot fight with red-white. The ammunition is too low. Am I dead? Are they dead? <sighs> Bard ulti is so scary for immobile AD carries. In situations like these, Gale Force would be nice, of course, but I could also just position better. Meanwhile, in the bot lane. Yeah, let's take Dragon. Oh, goodness. I might still die. All calculated, I assume. <laughs> One HP. Oh, please don't let it shock me. Okay, we're fine. I still have no lifesteal except for Doran's. Yeah, I mean, staying for 400 more gold for Bloodthirster would be the dream, but it's also way too greedy. I'd rather get my health back and get the lifesteal components. Yeah, our mid top and jungle are so fed. And we still have myself and Melio for late game insurance. Looks like an easy game. Just always play around your win condition. Making crazy plays is the burden of the losing team. Like this Cassiope I tried. On my way. Kite that out. There we go. We could take Baron, but we could also just push this wave real quick. That seat just not really too promising. That did not land. <sighs> Alright. Okay, never mind what I said. The siege was very promising. 
just always risky to, you know, tower dive for no real reason. We could have just sieged and taken or taken Baron or whatever. Careful. Alright, we should reset, get our items, and then start sieging Baron. We got. No, we didn't get the inhibitor, but still. We have so much pressure. Hang on. Oh, I thought Shackle was making a play. So I stayed. Slight mistake. At this point, might as well take their jungle. I'm lucky. Messed up. Yeah, overstayed. I should have based when I had the chance, but Shaco. I mean, I baited myself trying to help Shaco. I still have a lot of damage. We might just clean here. Anyway, now I'm finally base with my BF sword, get my pickaxe. Okay, it, it led to an ace. Can't really argue with that. Yeah, I kind of like it. I also like the press the attack, the upfront damage. It's just, I mean, I'm more like, I, I personally value the early game more, even in low elo. And press the attack is not bad in the late game either. It's not as strong as lethal tempo, but it's still a very good rune because, I mean, the flat damage, sure, whatever, but it also increases your damage afterwards by a percentage, and that's, I mean, that scales with your total damage, necessarily. Just take some farm, get some gold. The faster we get Infinity Edge, the better. Drake in 40. Let's fight for that soul. Oh, that's nasty. Kind of a panic ult, I'm gonna be real. But at least they leave us alone here and we can take Dragon now. Take the free stuff, win the game. No reason to overcomplicate things. My entire credo when it comes to Aphelios, don't overcomplicate. This champion is super simple. And when it comes to macro decisions, also keep it simple. If you have the advantage and can take stuff for free, don't fight, just take it. Just take the dragon. There's no reason to fight if you aren't being contested. You don't need to hunt them down in the jungle or anything. You can just go to the objective and take it, and if they don't come, then you get it for free, which is, of course, optimal. Same seems to be true for Baron here. Alright. Now we should definitely just push with Baron buff. They need to answer Shaco, they need to answer us in the mid lane and echo in the top lane very soon. There we go. Keep sieging.
There we go. Ah, I thought she was still... Okay, we, we still damaged them. Red-white combo. Alright, GG. Another Aphelios game for Unranked to Diamond. We are playing with an early game focus rune page. It doesn't make a big difference. It's still the Kraken Slayer Bloodthirster build. Um, but I I personally like this better than Fleet, uh, no, also than Fleet Footwork, but I meant to say Lethal Tempo. Because, you know, early game matters a lot. And your late game is still phenomenal with this item build. Press the attack is decent late. Okay, let's go in. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I meant to level attack damage, but it doesn't matter. We max attack damage first, of course. Attack speed second. Lethality last. I think that's the way to go. Huh, we dodged it. But yeah, we can chill. We can push a little bit. Alright. And wait for Senna to land a Q, potentially. Actually, we should we just go for it here. Ah, almost. We save our Severum for fights. So we just last it with Gravity Cannon, because Red Q is so strong in the early 2v2. Ah, Senna taking tons of damage, huh? Oh god, <laughs> fading both minions. Feels bad. Anyway, we pressure the tower here. We don't have vision, though. I probably should place down a ward. Okay, we see Viego topside, so we don't need to ward right now. We can wait a little. To get more uptime, so to speak. Okay. Senna Loki going in or not? Okay, she just goes for a quick trade. That's fine. Aphelios is a super strong late game, so you don't need to worry. You don't need to make crazy plays. He is very strong, levels 2 to 5. Oh god, they're all hitting me back. Huh. Gonna have to use red auto attacks. Oh god, I'm missing every single minion. Red auto attacks to regenerate now. Yeah, I took too much minion damage, definitely, and Melio shielded a lot of what I was trying to do. Go, fiddlesticks. I could flash auto Q. To snare them, that's not worth. It's also way risky because we're low HP. Man, I misplayed. I wanted to. Swap to Gravity Cannon, press Q, but the weapon switch threw off my rhythm. I didn't take that into account when pressing the buttons. Mm, we... We just get upgraded boots, honestly. That's such a wild lane. I want to be able to kite here. But yeah, you see how much damage press the attack just deals in these situations. 144. Lethal Tempo would have done next to nothing. Maybe one extra auto attack over the course of these fights? I don't know. It's not really a big deal in the early game. Except if you're in really long fights. Senna deleted the entire wave, so I return to nothing. Ah, rough. But it is what it is now. Okay. Should stay safe. Yeah. 
That's alright. Just wait now. It's Of course, it's a little bit sad if your support just denies you that much farm. But you can't do anything about it. You just have to accept it as a fact of life. I also lost a ton of experience too. I'm level 4.5 now. Whereas Ezreal is a clean level 5. Potentially already on his way to level 6. Yeah, I gotta chill a little bit. Just wave clear. Keep up the pressure. Ezreal struggles wave clearing. So if you push him in, in the early game, he is way too busy dealing with the wave. Am I alive? Potentially. Whew. Yeah, again, fighting as a Philios is so easy. You just press Q, switch weapons, press Q, and keep auto attacking. It's all you need to do, really. People always say he's so complicated. He's not. <laughs> you just auto attack. Guess we base. Yeah, it's fine. Get a clean pickaxe. Actually, now we wouldn't need to wait too long for these components. And pickaxe is just five more AD. We, also, we already have plenty of attack speed with boots. But yeah, I'm getting out farmed mainly because Senna deleted one and a half waves. <laughs> But it's fine. It's real level 6 now, though. Yeah, he's half a level ahead of me. That's nasty. Alright. Let's get our minions. Safe and sound. Senna, please stop taking my farm. Ah, rough. And. Ironically enough, Senna is the worst support to take farm with because you want the minions to be killed by someone else for the soul drops, but I don't know. I don't know what's happening in the minds of these Senna's. Okay, red-white, let's fight. Let's do it. I'm so down. I mean, we don't want to brute force it, but it would be very nice to fight right now. Okay, everyone's topside. I keep pushing. We also have ults, so... Especially red ulti is so good in duels. Or in 2v2 fights, because it's a lot of health here getting back. But yeah, so far we just... Huh. We're just wasting our ammunition. I mean, they're playing this well. They want to wait until we do no longer have red-whites. Right, we lose our weapon here. But we have flamethrower again. And now our strength is we can just push and okay. Okay, that's too much. That's too much, man. Ah, okay, they got us. Or do they? Annie might clean up. They committed hard for this. No stun. There we go. There we go. That's worth in my book. Melee ulting way too late. Could have saved his teammates, I think. Ah, 
Yeah, that was a good Viego gank, but they needed to commit so hard to still catch me and any. Luckily, there with a the reaction. Anyway, we're getting closer to, uh, to Kraken Slayer, which is a huge power spike. 1500 gold. Yeah, we're not far off. Next base, we might have it if we play this well. And now, again, we just push him in. So, he's busy with the wave and can't harass with Q. Alright, I also really like the... It's not one of the more classic combos, but I really like purple and white. Because it gives you so much agency and playmaking potential. I didn't get the plating? What? Must have been slightly out of range, huh? This Essence Reaver deals a lot of damage with that, and I don't have lifesteal yet, so this damage gonna stick for now. Yeah, I woke up unnecessarily 1v2, but well, they're busy at Dragon. I just need to stand on the tower and wait. Okay. Solo lanes are doing very well. This potentially might be a 1v2 still. I'm risking it. Alright, wave under tower. Ezreal topside, okay. Melio alone, potentially even? They're all missing, this is kind of risky. Alright. 300 more golds, then I get my... Kraken Slayer. Senna dead. Diego on his way bot lane, potentially. But Fiora is smashing this Illaoi, so I don't think there's a world in which we... ...lose this game if I don't completely run it down. Which I'm not planning to. <laughs> Vex could dive me if I'm not careful. She is strong. Alright. <laughs> Alright, they got problems elsewhere on the map, so... I'm free to go or to do whatever. I just push this wave. Let's do it fast. Yeah, we get this. I placed on the turret as the cannon minion took aggro, so the tower wouldn't immediately kill the turret because it kills it. It's the first thing on its priority list. But as it's already attacking the cannon minion, and that takes eight shots, the turret can attack the tower for quite a bit. Alright, we have okay-ish CS, all things considered, and now we get our huge power spike, plus this and this, and we're good to go. Sure, Fiora trying to 1v9, I hope she doesn't feed away her shutdown then. Which is exactly what she does, so yeah, we must not get too comfortable. In the late game, we potentially still need to carry. Random allies can throw. Careful, Annie. Well, we keep mid lane pushed. That's the easy way. Keep pressure on their map. Ha! 
Ah, I kited myself with the wall. Should be fine. Nice, okay. Didn't need to do much, just needed to be there and cover in case they go on the offensive so I can counter. And again, for the most part, all I'm doing is auto-attacking and playing macro. No crazy Aphelios shenanigans, because there isn't much to it. You just auto-attack and press Q. It's a fairly simple champion. Just your auto-attacks tend to look funnier than those of other champions, because, you know, they change forms. Let's get the wave. Heal for Fiora. Keep auto attacking. Yeah, we could have swapped and pressed, I don't know, Q with red weapon or whatever. But it doesn't matter too much. We just auto attack and try to keep Fiora safe. There we go. So many tower shots. Almost died. But they're losing everywhere now. Everyone's fed. I'm the least fed person on the team and I still have all the items I need. Let's get Dragon. It's completely free, isn't it? Just auto attack. All right. Um, BF sword is tempting, but I think Vamp Scepter plus Crit Cloak is slightly better. Just so I get my life steal going with overheal. Because without red weapon, I'm operating on zero percent life steal. Well, two point five kind of because Doran's blade. But you know. <laughs> okay, this allow is just inting. But again, we play clean macro. We don't try to, I don't know, overcomplicate things. We just want to win this game. We want to climb to diamond after all. And we're already in gold promos at this point. I'll keep my chakrams for red. And also, again, I like the purple-white combo, too. There we go. The purple ult mainly for... Well, crowd control, 99% slow, goes a long way. Sniper turret's also kind of nasty, the green-white combo, one of the more classic ones. Yeah, we should siege mid lane. Take all the inhibitors. Let the minions run it down. Taking tower aggro. Oh, fiddlesticks. Quite unsafe. Oh god. Tower shots after tower shots. I think all the damage I took was from towers. Ezreal ult kills me now if I'm not careful. Red white. Well, okay, let's finish. Alright, hope you have fun with the Unranked to Diamond series. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not dead. Never mind. But yeah, we're finished now, so stay tuned for the climb. Follow me on Twitch, on YouTube, everywhere. And see you in the next episode. I think. Why am I doing an outro already? I'm not done yet. Okay. Anyway, we are now finishing, finally. <laughs>